What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, I'm gonna give you my best bets for week 16 of the NFL season. Now, unfortunately, in week 15, I was not able to put a video out in time. So while I didn't have that in my video, obviously my video best bets records, I'm just gonna go zero and zero week 15. I did place it on a personal level. So in week 15, following these trends, I went three and one. I was really happy to see that. The only difference here is week 15. Everything else is the same. What I'm gonna show you here is a quick recap of what I did in week 15. Here's my week 15 recap. The first trend, divisional road favorites in weeks 10 to 16 to cover the spread. We had the Falcons at minus one and a half and the 49ers at minus 11 and a half. The Falcons, of course, lost to the Panthers and the 49ers easily covered that spread. Trend number two, underdog coming off 20 plus point losses to cover the spread. I'm not gonna follow this for the rest of the season. I'll talk more about that when I talk about the percentages for week 16. Trend number three, there were no games to fit this trend in week 15. Trend number four is another trend I'm going to pull off the table here. And again, I'll talk about all that when I talk about the percentages. And trend number five, games with totals in one of these five numbers that go under. Now, I had two of these, Commanders at the Rams and the Cowboys at the Bills, both at 49 and a half, and they both went under. Really happy to see that. The Commanders at the Rams landed at 48, and the Cowboys at the Bills landed at 41. Now, if you look at the table here, the closing total, I also have this for the spread as a closing line. These are numbers that are closer to game time. And I purposely did this for week 15 because I know that the trends that I show you here and the percentages are collected. The data is collected and recorded prior to game time, closer to game time. So if we're really going to follow these trends properly, I believe the best way to do this is to look at the lines and the totals about an hour before game time and then place your bets then. In fact, I'm pretty sure that that has a better record overall than my video uh, best bets. So here's our week 16 best bets. Here are the trends. Same trends I've used before, the same trends I just showed here, and look at those overall percentages, very good. And the season hit rate would be from 2015 to 2023, including 2023. And all those are really high percentages, but the second one there, underdogs coming off 20 plus point losses to cover the spread. That is at 47.6% in 2023. So when we think about what we're doing here, the strategy, we're following these trends and just betting every game and every team that fits one of those trends. However, what kind of quality control can we have over these trends? The only thing we can do here is really just decide, okay, is this trend actually working? Is it still hitting? Is it still above that 52.4% threshold? If it's not, then we can decide not to follow that trend. And that's what I'm doing for the second one down there. So that one is going bye-bye. And the fourth one down as well is at 45.5% for 2023. So I don't have a lot of confidence in that one either. So what that leaves us with is three trends here. And these are all close to 60% or over 60% overall and hit very frequently in most of the seasons. So here we are for week 16. The first one, divisional road favorites in weeks 10 to 16 that cover the spread. We have the Bengals at minus one and a half at the Steelers, that's on Saturday, and the Lions at minus three at the Vikings, that's on Sunday. So two games there for this particular trend, it's a really strong trend. What I'm now calling trend number two is divisional road teams that lost as home favorites in game one that cover the spread in game two. No games fit this trend in week 16, but there is a game in week 17 and three of these in week 18. So I'm excited to see how those play out in the final two weeks of the season. Trend number three, games with totals in one of these five numbers that go under. We have the Saints at the Rams. This is a Thursday night game at 46 and a half. I just grabbed these. All the bets I show you here in my videos, I place the bets right before I record the video. I would not go below 46 and a half. We stick strictly to these trends here. So if it goes lower than that, I would not place that bet. The Lions at the Vikings, again, same game as the earlier spread. But this time, the total is at 47. This is a Sunday game, and that's a divisional game. Divisional games actually go under these totals even at a higher rate. And finally, the Ravens at the 49ers. This is a Monday night game on Christmas Day, 46 and a half. In fact, that is a potential Super Bowl matchup. So this is an exciting game. I can't wait to see that. So happy holidays. Good luck. Have fun. Let's go.